In recent news, Kylie Jenner just dropped close to 40 million on a new mansion. It's not surprising though when you consider she did buy her first multi-million dollar home at the young age of 17. If you've ever wondered what the world's youngest billionaire Kylie does with all that wealth, you should know she puts a lot of it into real estate. In this video, we'll check out her brand new resort like Mega Mansion in Holmby Hills and the other homes she owns. Kylie Jenner is a media personality best known for starring on Keeping Up with the Kardashians and basically for just being a member of the most famous family out there right now. She was named one of the most influential teens in the world back when she still was one and remains one of the most followed people on Instagram. Despite being the youngest of the Kardashian Jenner clan, you could argue she's found the most success. From her businesses like Kylie Cosmetics and the fact that she was named the world's youngest billionaire by Forbes last year, she's accomplished more than most and she's only 22. Kylie's also a mom and her and her baby daddy rapper Travis Scott made headlines in 2018 for going halvesies on a mansion in LA. But this was far from the first home Kylie's invested in and it certainly wasn't going to be the last. In fact, she's already one-upped it with this new addition. In her short lifetime, Kylie's owned more than five Los Angeles mansions and has built quite the real estate empire. I mean, she bought her $2.7 million starter home when she was still in the 12th grade basically. With a net worth of a billion dollars, she's used a lot of her wealth on buying and selling beautiful homes, which is definitely a smart thing to do. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We've previously done one on Kylie Jenner, but since she just purchased an epic new home, it felt like it was time for a refresh. Look at her beautiful new estate in Holmby Hills, her house with Travis, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Lindsay Lohan and Michael Jordan, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. As always, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. I need you to let me know who to do next and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Although Kylie, Stormy, and Travis have been spending a lot of time in Palm Springs with her family during quarantine, it looks like Kylie's been making another move on the side. It's been reported that the young billionaire has added to her real estate portfolio yet again, and we know just exactly how lavish the new place is. Apparently, Kylie spent a massive $36.5 million on this home, but it was a discount considering that it was originally listed for 45 mil. The mansion is located in the exclusive neighborhood of Holmby Hills, Los Angeles, which is in the western area of LA. It's bordered by Beverly Hills on the east and Bel Air to the north, with Sunset Boulevard being the main strip nearby. In fact, Holmby Hills is home to the iconic Playboy Mansion and of course many other celebs. Kylie's new estate has been called a resort style compound considering the property offers four separate guest houses and a 24 hour guardhouse in addition to the main mansion. It also looks like a luxury resort if I do say so myself. The total space adds up to 19,250 square feet and the main home is a massive 15,000 350 square feet on its own. There are seven bedrooms and 14 bathrooms, and the lot is just under an acre of land. Not to mention, Kylie gravitated to this home thanks to the extra privacy and security. It's hidden behind a large wall and gate, and then there's that 24-hour guard. The mansion is a single-story building with high ceilings, open spaces, and a modern layout. There are plenty of indoor-outdoor style rooms, and the home is full of natural light and floor-to-ceiling windows and doors. Inside Kylie's new spot, you've got the usual mansion room rooms like multiple hangout spaces and common areas, formal and non-formal dining rooms, as well as a state-of-the-art kitchen that opens up to the yard and pool in the center of the property. It seems like Kylie's already got to posting some photos in the new place, which we can see from her Instagram. Features of her home include a professional and massive bar and games room, a gym, and two home theater options, one inside as well as an outdoor projection screen. There's a full championship level sports court for basketball and additional area for other sports. There are also guest apartments, complete with kitchen nets and living rooms, and suites with private patios and entrances, which is great for having friends and fam over. There are 20 parking spaces at the home, which is perfect for Kylie's luxury car collection and maybe even some of Travis's cars if he ever moves in. On the grounds of the compound, you'll also find a huge modern fire pit, patios to hang out and lounge at, and even a palm tree for a tropical touch. And can we talk about that huge pool and spa? It's definitely the focus of the property, considering it's right in the middle and includes its own cabana. I mean, it looks like something out of a 
Vegas pool party. Despite the world moving slowly for the most part right now, Kylie has obviously given herself something to be super excited about with this new luxury mansion. I'm kinda shocked she decided to move away from Hidden Hills where most of her fam is, but I guess it was time for a change, and this house is impressive to say the least. Let's not forget it wasn't too long ago Kylie and Travis decided to invest in a Los Angeles mansion together. This mansion cost them $13.5 million, but compared to Kylie's new place, it seems like nothing. Around fall 2018, Kylie and Travis got a modern looking estate in Beverly Hills that sat on a 1.1 acre lot at the end of a private cul-de-sac. They still own it, but I'm guessing now that it's more of an investment property than where they call home. Inside, this mansion spans 8,141 square feet of living space and has 7 beds and 10 bathrooms. Kylie and Travis's master suite here alone covers 2,300 square feet, which is bigger than many homes. Of course, it has a private balcony overlooking both the city and ocean. Not to mention there are oversized walk-in closets throughout. The master suite, of course, offers the biggest one of them all, perfect for Kylie's handbag collection if she keeps any at this house, that is. Other features of Kylie and Travis's Beverly Hills home include a home movie theater, full gym, library, wine room, and more. on and off again couple love this home is because of the heavy security. This gated estate is one of the most private compounds in the neighborhood according to the listing and it's practically paparazzi proof. An array of trees and greenery cover the multiple outdoor seating areas as well as the decks on the first and second floors of the house. The backyard is also one of the nicest parts of the home. Not only is it spacious, but there's a large pool and great entertainment area that looks perfect for parties and having guests over. There's also a separate guest house for visitors. In last year's vid we did on Kylie Kylie's homes, her Hidden Hill spot was her main one. Like I mentioned, over the years she's bought and sold more than one mansion in the same neighborhood, even renting one to her brother Rob at one point. Anyways, this is the home we knew as Kylie's primary residence and as far as we know she still owns it. Meaning as it stands, she owns at least three multi-million dollar properties. This house was featured in Architectural Digest and Kylie did a whole photo shoot here after it was completely redecorated. This place cost around 12 million back in 2016 and it's definitely the one she's lived in the longest. It's located in Hidden Hills, the exclusive gated neighborhood the Kardashian-Jenner family infested, and it was the perfect spot. This home spans over 13,000 square feet of living space and sits on 1.43 acres of land. It's a Cape Cod style mansion and has 8 beds and 9.5 baths. Kylie got the home completely suited to her taste and in 2019 she showed it off for all of us to see. redesigned for her with a ton of pink throughout and youthful energy. Her Hidden Hills mansion offers features like a custom home theater, games room with wet bar, office with fireplace, home gym, massage room, and more. There's also a six car garage with space for her fancy collection and additional circular driveway. Kylie's master bedroom at this place has an all stone bathroom and large balcony and she made it even more impressive after the renos. The master bath was fresh, full of light, and of course, Kylie added pink accents. She also had her own custom glam room created for her to get ready. This is like the Barbie room and there's space for all the wigs and makeup she has, which is a lot. Not to mention, instead of your average walk-in closet, Kylie has a massive dressing room and then an additional handbag closet. Pretty crazy. Not to mention, there's an additional guest house that's the size of your average family home with its own bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, sitting room, private entry, and courtyard. Out back, Kylie has a gorgeous pool and spa and plenty of patios and space to entertain. Even though it seems like she's moved on to her new resort style property, I don't think she'd want to part with this one. It's literally just a Kylie home and is probably really special to her since she got it all custom designed. So now we've taken a look at Kylie Jenner's updated real estate including her brand new mega mansion in Holmby Hills. She still has the Beverly Hills mansion she bought with Travis and her pink Hidden Hills dream home too. One thing's for sure, Kylie loves spending her fortune on real estate and by the looks of it she's making some nice investments. After seeing Miss Jenner's new home, what did you guys think? Did you like the resort style vibe? 
Flyboard's it too much. I think the place is gorgeous. I mean, who wouldn't want to live there? Be sure to let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.